finish and I'm going to put the pound cake in the oven. Um, so I'm trying to get two. If you see the, it's still seeing clumps of butter in it, that's okay. You're going to see the little bits and pieces that's going to make the cake even rich and taste even tastier. Try not to over, um, overuse the hand mixer or um, if you have a, a, a standing hand mixer, don't over mix it. It tends to activate the gluten in the flour and the cake will come out extremely bready. So which is why you didn't see me mix it a lot. Um, I'm following the recipe of um, another chef on YouTube and I'm going to leave the link in the description box if you want to see him. I think it's preppy cooking, preppy chef, something like that. But he is really cool. I love watching his cooking videos and I've learned a lot from his videos on YouTube. Um, especially how easy it is to bake a cake because I was one of those box cake persons. So now I have been baking my cake from scratch for a while now. So yeah. So we're going to put these two in the oven so my cake can have like, and I'll show you the end result. You have the oven on low and put them on a tray because they tend to burn even very quickly and the edges brown fast. So you put your oven on low and you put them on another tray. So I put them on my cookie tray and I'm going to put them in the oven. So I'll show you all what it looks like when it's finished. It came out. It's the first one is out because this one finished first. Um, so he's out the oven. This one just came out. So I have to wait until it's cool to get him out of the pan. And the ends are so nice and crispy. It reminds me when my grandmother used to make when my grandmother used to make cake. And it just go for the crispy parts. <laughs> yeah, so this is how it is. And it's nice and soft, you see? How he's smoking. Oh my god, this cake tastes so amazing, eh? So guys, you can always try out the recipe. Step-by-step -step details on what you need to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.